This has been an emotional day of testimony in that Derek Chauvin trial. Some of the witnesses in Minneapolis today, some were as young as nine, shared what they saw happen to George Floyd nearly a year ago. He just pretty much just killed this guy. Day two of the trial begins with raw emotion. This man, he was unresponsive. He wasn't resisting arrest or any of it. Witness Donald Williams wiping away tears as he listens to his own voice during a 911 call the day George Floyd died. Uh, did call the police on the police. Right. And why did you do that? Because uh, I believe I witnessed a murder. It wasn't right. He was, he was suffering. He was and pain. And that's the voice of a young woman whose cell phone video of Derek Chauvin with his knee across Floyd's neck has been seen by millions all around the world. And now that video is key evidence in the case. The judge ruling that she would testify off camera, shielding her face because she was a minor on that day. On this day, nothing could hide the emotion in her voice. It's been nights. I stayed up apologizing and and apologizing to George Floyd for not doing more and not physically interacting and not saving his life. Chauvin took notes throughout the day, at one time standing and removing his mask so a young witness could identify him. That nine-year-old telling jurors Chauvin initially refused to release his hold on Floyd when the paramedics arrived. And what did the ambulance people do? They just had to put them off, get off. The defense team declining to cross-examine the little girl. Now, several of the young witnesses said they pleaded with Chauvin to take his knee from Floyd's neck, but he just stared at them without responding. The defense has said the angry crowd played a role in the events that unfolded that day. There is a lot of people involved in this case, from the defendant to the attorneys and certainly hundreds of potential witnesses. So tonight, I want to give you a closer look at who you'll be seeing and hearing from during the next three to four weeks of this trial. The defendant, Derek Chauvin, was a Minneapolis police officer for 18 and a half years before he was charged with killing George Floyd. Chauvin is represented by attorney Eric Nelson. He's been involved in high profile cases and is part of a group of Twin City attorneys who take turns representing police officers in criminal cases. At the prosecution table, Matthew Frank and Neil Cadiol will be most visible. Frank has been an assistant attorney general for 21 years. Cadiol is an East Coast attorney and former acting solicitor general. Attorney General Keith Ellison may be present in court but is not expected to take part in questioning witnesses. Judge Peter Cahill will preside. He was appointed to the bench in 2007. For 10 years before that, he was one of the county's top prosecutors. Key witnesses could include the other three officers charged in Floyd's death. Tu Tao, J. Alexander King, and Thomas Lane. They're on the prosecution's witness list, but if called to testify, each could plead the fifth to avoid answering questions they think might hurt them in their upcoming trial. One key witness will be Dr. Andrew Baker, the county chief medical examiner since 2004. He performed the autopsy and ruled that George Floyd died from cardiopulmonary arrest caused by Chauvin's restraint. But Baker added drugs and heart disease as other significant conditions, leaving cause of death as the most contentious issue to be argued in this trial.